Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to this week's video. Bia here in my little corner studio and as promised, this is going to be a tour. Space is still kind of in the world, still trying to figure out what works, what doesn't and in fact, I actually have kind of two spaces. This is the space that I use to paint, to craft, to all that good stuff and then uh, right there, I have another desk that is in my living room. <laughs> And that desk is where I edit and just do anything that's computer work just because it's less space. So before we begin, I actually kind of recorded the process of this whole thing. Um, this took us around two months. But yeah, without further ado, here's the kind of process. enjoyed that very messy very all over the place but I kind of just filmed whatever I could I used to be in the office which was a spare bedroom turned it into an office slash gym but my partner started having a lot of stuff for his work a lot of calls and he needed just this place where he could just have his own space so we decided that I would split my workspace in two parts and he would have the office since he is mostly on calls every single day, so he needs a space that's controlled and a bit more quiet. I'm only filming videos a few days of the week, so it kind of works. Mind you, anything, nothing is in its like a decisive place, everything can kind of be changed. I still don't really know what's working, what's not, but we'll see. <laughs> a quick note before I forget. My shop is finally open today. I'm really, really excited. Wait, Lucas is here. Come here, Lucas. Come here, my chunk. Lucas is here. Um, <laughs> so Lucas is gonna help me tell you all about the new shop drops. It's quite heavy. Uh, so, <laughs> Lucas has made a face. I forgot. So yeah, my shop opens today. Finally, my shop has been on hold for a few weeks now, almost a month now, but it's finally up with new stuff, with new prints. So all the prints that are in my shop are completely new and also the tarot cards are almost running out and I won't be printing them again. Mm, okay, she's heavy, I gotta let her go. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but that's her scratching her post because she hated that a lot. As I was saying, I also have tote bags, I have decals, vinyl decals. Link is down below for my shop, please check it out. I also completely redid it, it's a completely new shop and I'm really happy with how it looks, it looks really cute, if I may say so myself. Uh, so yeah, please check it out, I very much appreciate it and yeah, without further ado, let's get started on this tour because you've heard me ramble more than enough. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to queue up, uh, hopefully this doesn't mess up the mic too much, hopefully. Show you that I have a shelf above here. I have my sticker organizer thing. Uh, that's just like a monitor stand. I used to have it on my desk. I don't really have a use for it because my monitor goes quite tall. And so I kind of just use it as storage. I really like it. It's really, really cool. So it's definitely something I wanted to keep. And then I have the Karen markers right here. They live over there because I, they were too pretty not to have like showcased. <laughs> I, I don't know the word, I don't remember the word. And also that's on, honestly the only place I could have them. So here I pretty much have this whole space open because for two reasons. A, I kind of need the space. This, when I'm working, this gets really, really full, way fuller than I thought. And Second reason, I really want to get a printer soon and that's kind of the space it's going to be. Right now it holds my silhouette. I definitely need to find a better space for it, but for now it lives there. Uh, but when I get a new printer, that needs to go somewhere else and we'll see. But other than that, this place is completely clean. Other from this little bucket 
here. It just holds the stuff that I use the most. These are the drawers. These are from Ikea, these two. And this one just, I don't remember the name. It's like similar to Alex. And that one I custom made because I needed it just exactly that size. We got this board in Leroy and we stained it ourselves. And you saw in a clip they had weights on top because it got warped really bad. And so we actually had to screw it in so it would stay still. And funny enough, that day my boyfriend broke his toe. Okay, so I, I also put these on the drawer. They have zero purpose at the moment because I forgot I haven't put the paper yet, but soon. So the first drawer is, this is my tissue paper for packaging. I also do my orders here. And this is my washi tape collection. Uh, it's not very clean at the moment. I need to give this to a friend. <laughs> so yeah, this is my washi tape collection. I have artist washi tapes here. I have, this one is also artist washi tape, so it needs to be here. I'm gonna switch it. Real time organization. Yeah, so that's also artist. And so other, my other washi tapes are either from collecting them all over the years, these are Faithful Press, and then most of them are just from the washi tape shop. In the back there I just have junk, like tapes, glue. I use these tapes on conventions. First draw is washi tape because I use that a lot. Then, second drawer, kind of my most used watercolor stuff. So I have here my pencil case. I usually have my eraser on top and that's just where I have it. Then it's just acrylic pens, but I don't really use these anymore. I either use my artist row, which are actually tucked away here, my artist row. We have my pencil case with, with the most adorable strawberry pin by my friend Juan Oli. And this one I got by winning a contest for Last of Us 2. I have something here that like these are nail decorations and I really want to use these more on paintings. I kind of have an addiction on buying these because they're so pretty, but I never end up using these. I'm gonna promise myself to use these more because just, just look at them. They're so pretty. I really want to use these more. I've already used one on a painting, so I want to use the rest. Ceramic palette I used on my, on the ink drawing. I have my corner punch and then it's just like, my other palettes, my Delfino Verpolo, my Sennelier, my Margello, another Delfino Verpolo, my gouache palette, and then underneath is just a leftover of my words. Tissue paper thing. My third drawer is kind of messy, not quite yet decided. Okay, so here's the thing. I had a dream where I wanted to do like custom painted bottles, but obviously you can see I started it. And I never finished it, but I did buy the spray paints I wanted for it. So now I just have a ton of spray paint bottles over there that I haven't painted yet. Some acrylics, some UV resin, and these are just like hair dry clay that are very soft, but I honestly don't really like working with it. So yeah, this whole mess of a drawer is just kind of my, my failure is staring me in the face. So I don't like to see it. This might actually be one of my favorite drawers because it's my Ferris wheel drawer. <laughs> Full drawer of Ferris wheel press ink. Don't really have the space to have these on display. 38 millimeter size. And I mentioned once on a video that I much prefer this size and this is the reason. They are so much easy to pack. Like if I take these out, you'll see I have so many more underneath. And then these ones are awesome, but they take so much space. The new ones, I think they don't make these anymore. I think the new ones are like this. And yeah, these are probably easier to store if you have others because of the corners. It's so pretty. I really want to do just one day a huge swatch sheet of just inks. I have a Ferris wheel press and just kind of frame that because it's so pretty. So for this, I have three shelves, I mean two. And so here I have just like a white vinyl for the decals and this is just like my stack of paper and then on this little part i have these little baskets so here i have washi tapes which i love these washi tapes i'm really 
proud of them, but I don't have that many already, and I don't think I'll restock them. So yeah, if you want them, you get them. Uh, this basket is very random, just like stray papers, envelopes, and this one's even more random, <laughs> just like canvases, yarn that I use to pack my orders, and just like gesso, so really random. And then here I have like old prints. Over here I have more paper. This is like little paper baggies I got for fairs, and this is my little container. This has the rest of my cards, sticker sheets over there. These are the tags for my new tote bags, uh, sticker sheets. Underneath there are my little stamp stickers, which if you haven't seen, proud of these. I have like six designs. Here I have the new sticker. I'm really happy with this one as well. And my decals are like this, like this is one of the hollow decals, really really happy with this. But they kind of look faded with the transfer tape, so this is how they really look. They look so nice, I'm so happy with them. And then here are the new prints, and then this is kind of just junk, very failed stuff that I don't actually want to look at. This is an IKEA like letter organizer. This has been with me for a really long time, since 2017, this thing, and I've dragged it to everywhere I've been. I really like it. So here I have just like, again, junk. Uh, this is the stickers that I've made to close my orders. I really like these. This is something I want to paint. This is one original that's actually for sale for so long, this poor guy. I have these I want to paint one day. Even more junk. I mean, not junk. These are most of my originals, I know. Not really well organized, but I definitely have a plan to organize them on a folder away from all of this junk. And then here I have just prints, stickers, all the stuff that I got from my artist friends. And I know they're not in a very good place. This is not my pride and joy. Like here, what do I have here? Uh, yeah, old prints, stuff plastic baggies like this bit i love it to death but it's not my pride and joy that little folder that's where i want to put my originals and just like store them this bit here so this is a plaque from ikea i've always wanted to have one of these and so what i got was these little hooks to hold all my foil now i have kind of a lot now since i've tried to do decals this is a surprise for later I also did these stickers to close my orders and I really like them. I just kind of did these and just stuck them here. These are my paintbrushes, my pencils. I got this charm at Comic Con a few years ago. A friend of mine gave me, gave me this patch and I really love it. And then just like a hidden Sakura, really like her. And these are just my prints. I don't have many at the moment. Only two are not from like people I know. Like that's obviously J.W. Cooper, that's a friend of mine from Russia. My dear friend uh, gave me this Bakugo for my birthday, this is the original. I absolutely love him, my pride and joy. Welcome to the other part that I was talking about. So as you can tell, that over there is where we just were. So we just went through the sliding doors and we are now at my living room. That's my sofa. This is where I edit and just do any like admin work because it's just where I have my monitor and everything else. Without further ado, I guess I'll show you around. This place is, this space is pretty simple, so it won't take too long. My little desk mat which you already knew from my other videos. My lamp, which is almost falling apart. Oh, whoa, it's super dusty, you didn't see that. <laughs> here are the drawers. A surprise, I have more paper here. <laughs> so on the first drawer, I have just kind of my notebooks and agendas and my sketchbook underneath. Uh, stuff that I reach a lot when I'm planning stuff. Uh, also my wrist guard, because my wrist has been killing me. And I also have my old sketchbook back there. So this one's kind of just filled with that. Uh, second one is where I keep my microphone. This guy is usually there. And just like web camera for where I film stuff. Yeah, this drawer, this set is still not quite like prepared. I wouldn't call this one finished. So yeah, there's a few random drawers like 
Okay, this drawer is the stuff that I don't use as much. Um, I also have your head of Draco because this guy fell from the shelf the other day and had an accident. His whole body just broke. I just have him here until I fix him, poor guy. Here on the drawer, this is my UV light for when I'm using resin. This, these are little Gunsai Tombi pans that I decided to keep when I gifted this set to a friend of mine, so I still haven't used them after that, so I might just try and use them. Gold foil, my Gansai Tambi starry colors, so metallic watercolors, my Magello tea like pan set, gouache, my peerless watercolor, both of them. These are pretty cool, but I don't really reach for them, unfortunately. Arkanesk Turner colors. Don't love these, but I definitely want to try it again. My Winsor Newton. Cotman and then just like fabric paint because I, I don't really use it but I like having it in case I want to do like a project. This one is my cables. This one doesn't have a purpose yet. It's pretty empty at the moment but I do have something coming in the mail soon that will probably live here but we'll talk about that later. And then this drawer is even more junk. I'm not organized guys. If you ever thought I was an organized person you thought wrong. So this is just kind of jewel stuff uh, like oops i really want to start trying to do more jewelry hairpins earrings i have here rings ceramic dishes i like you but at the same time you're just so big to have so unless i really want a huge mixture of paint i don't really use them i have more here i already already broke two <laughs> Some notepads here. This is stuff that I don't use as much, but I like to have on hand. Like I don't, I only use these either on orders when I'm out of notes or just like when I send letters to friends. These are pretty cute to use. These are actually by my friend Jantar Khumatik. Pretty much on this set of drawers. This is pretty much what I'm working with right now. I know that I fortunate to have have a space to work with. I'm in no means complaining when I say stuff is tiny or dark. I'm complaining a little bit, but. <laughs> Just a little bit. Pretty much it. So yeah, Ultra Bia, take the way. So yeah, that was it. This is kind of my little space. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you find it entertaining. I personally love watching studio tours. I just I get very nosy on how people decorate and arrange their stuff. It's really interesting. Thanks for watching, as always, and for being here. Please check out all my links down below. Instagram, Skillshare, Patreon. My shop, was, as I mentioned, is open today. Uh, please check it out. I'm really, really excited and happy with the stuff that I came out this time with this new drop. I'm just really excited with all the stuff that I created and I can't wait to see what you guys think. Hit the like, subscribe, and leave a comment telling me which part of you like more of the studio? Do you like my little creative hub or just my little desk computer side thing? Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!